Now, our guest this week is Louise Stokes from Ludimi, and she's dropped in to tell me more about what they're up to at the moment. OK, so welcome to our little chat time on What's On. And today I've got with me Louise Stokes, who is one part of a production company called Ludimi. Now, we mentioned you guys um, the other week because you've got this very, very interesting project that you're you're doing but first of all I, I want to ask you exactly what do you do what do we do <laughs> okay Lou Demi Productions do loads of things well I suppose we're essentially we, we call it we call ourselves a theatre and multimedia company so we do a lot of projects and productions uh, with vulnerable groups with um, in, in sort of mainstream productions a whole range of stuff largely theatre and, and some film a lot of our work, although not all of it, is based around really um, important, often challenging issues, and we do a lot of stuff around mental health as well, not exclusively, but my background is in psychiatric nursing originally before I became an actor and a writer, mm. and Nadim, who's the other half of Ludim, uh, has lived experience, so we kind of um, meld those two together to, to use that in our creative work, so right. that's what a large amount of our work sort of centres around really. Okay, and it's th this thing that you're doing, uh, let me, st orthorexia. Yeah. Right. Orthorexia. <laughs> um, orthorexia is something that we came across when we were looking at some projects we were doing around eating disorders and, and mental health in general. It's a, a newish um, condition which is sort of a growing problem. It's not an official diagnosis at the moment but it sort of bridges, as we understand it, the, the sort of um, obsessive compulsive disorder and eating disorders. So it's where somebody becomes so concerned about eating healthily that it paradoxically then um, right. can damage their mental and physical health and they may give up lots of foods and it affects their, their daily functioning because they become very obsessed about li eat, living and eating healthily. And you're doing it, you, but you make light of it, don't you? You know, it's not as serious as that, the way you The way we over. do it, yeah. It's, and it's at the, the old rep. Yeah, we're, we're doing the sessions at the old rep theatre which is is great fun and it's a lovely lovely building it's a lovely space to be doing the sessions in we always have a lot of sensitivity and respect for the issues and the people we're working with yeah. but because we use theatre and drama and writing and a big part of our philosophy is to make people feel good about themselves to enjoy the projects to end the sessions feeling better than when they came to the session at the beginning of the session so we have a lot of fun and a lot of laughter within the projects and people always really engage with that and and we get to address and explore the issue and all the seriousness around it without people then going away feeling like oh god i'm, I'm really miserable now yeah, yeah. so they are a lot of fun because you've been involved in, in comedy before haven't you I, I remember we used to talk about your uh, ludini soup Ludimi soup. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've um, I, I've done some stand-up comedy myself, and about, about six or seven years ago now, we started up a comedy night called Ludimi so mm. Soup. That sort of evolved into a night where very often people um, were, were coming completely as first timers, never having done any comedy before. Sometimes they'd had experience of mental health issues as well, which is always a, a good feed into comedy and stand-up mm. comedy and mm. raising awareness. So our, um, our nights tended to be a platform, really, and an opportunity for people to come along, especially if they weren't feeling very confident about performance, to come along and try, try that out, try out comedy, try out being in front of an audience and, and just to sort of engage with people and help them develop their confidence so they could move on to other things. So th this, this project you've got goes on till the October the 19th? At 18th. The 18th, 18th at, the rep, at the rep, and then we'll be having a final sharing on the 25th of October at the MAC. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. We wish you all the best, and keep in touch, and we'll, we'll update people as we go on. Brilliant. Thank okay. you very Thank much. You. Thanks.